Hello everybody. Today I am going to show you a little mailing system that I've made. So the way it works is you press this button here which dispenses a minecart onto that unpowered track and then what you can do is just put in any message that you want to send to anybody else that's on this line. And then you just power it and it'll send the minecart over to them and it'll stop it on here so then they can see that they have something in there grab out whatever and then they can send it back so after it gets sent back what it can do is so you look in it and you see oh it's just my car minecart that I got back so I'll flip it so that it will go into this minecart destruction and then over here you'll have your chests and your minecarts so that you can remake them and place them back in here which is your large storage of chest minecarts. So one thing that I did when I was working on this was try to make it kind of look a little bit more modern. So it looks like telephone poles holding up uh, cables. So when there's not a minecart on it, it just looks like a decorative build. So to try to tie it in, I made it look like power lines, and then I just kind of gave it a road just to kind of show that it's supposed to get, have like a little bit more modern of a look. And you can also switch out what kind of wood you're using. I use strip oak here. However, there's plenty of different ones that can give really nice looks for when you're trying to do decorative builds like this. And then all you have to do is run a minecart line up and then on top of those. And then just to help keep the minecart going. So then every 10 blocks I made a pole and then we can just power the lines running next to those poles. So then it helps give a little push to the minecart as it keeps going. And then it can go around corners, pretty simple. And then for the loading and unloading onto the actual power line. We just use glass going down so then it looks like the power lines are actually coming into the ground like some power lines do um, in subdivisions and different things like that. So one thing about this is you don't have to have the, all this on a hill. You can have it come into a straight section. You'll just need less powered rails. This is just so that it's quick and compact in this general area. One other feature, which I didn't intend to put, but if we send a whole bunch of messages over, so if we're basically just spamming our neighbor, you'll see that it sends the minecart back over, so it kind of has like a spam protection, I guess. So if you just keep sending messages to them, then you're going to start getting them back and they're only gonna see about three two or three sometimes it'll save two sometimes it'll save three it really just depends so like right there you can see that it's kept three but this one it's only keeping two right now and the redstone for this is pretty simple Let me get rid of a couple of these so all it is is a powered rail going into a hopper which will hit a cactus so the minecart hits the cactus breaks and goes into this hopper and will dispense into that chest and then the sending system you just have a bulk minecart storage and you just have a button which powers this dispenser to minecart with a chest and then you click this one to send it and then everything else is just powered rails and as you can see on this one, I kind of put a little bit of a flat surface. So that's just kind of shows what you can do if you want to expand it out. So you can just keep running this powered rail out, but you'll need to switch most of it over to the regular rail so that it doesn't stop it while it's still on this hill here. And with a little bit more redstone, what you can do is you can actually put dividers in. So if you have let's say a house over here that you want to send a message to, then you could put a rail that is able to change directions and then just run a redstone signal up this power line or something similar 
or put another line in up here that allows it to control what direction it goes. And then you could just add a button down here that switches that direction. And then you send off your minecart and it would be able to turn direction and then go into, let's say, a house over here. And then they can send it back to you by changing the direction on this other line here. And then that would be pretty simple because you can just build right over the top of these power lines and make like another set of lines going across the street. So that's just about it. So it wasn't a very complicated redstone build, but it can be really helpful if you're trying to send mail over long distances and you don't want to have to travel there and back to leave somebody a message waiting for them to get on the server or something. You can just leave it in their inventory and you don't have to worry about them when they get it or when you know waiting for them to get on and that is it so i hope you enjoyed the video